it's it's an ancient, ancient, ancient practice, and it's become a global phenomenon. People practice it. It's become very trendy, and I think it's wonderful. But why do people do it? Why do you practice yoga? Hey, I'm Rebecca. This is Body Illumination. Welcome. So today we are talking about why yoga. As a yoga teacher, I'm always, always fascinated in how people come to the path of yoga. And there's so many different derivatives of yoga. So I think it's really interesting when I start to speak to friends who I get to know through yoga and yoga classes. And isn't that where I met you, Rebecca? And they tell how they started taking classes or why they started taking classes. It's really interesting from flexibility to postnatal, prenatal, from stress relief. There's so many reasons people come to a yoga class. This series is basically reaching out to you all so that you can tell us and share with everyone. And it might very well benefit someone who needs it. yoga. I was a resistor for a very long time. I am the kind of person who when I work out, I want to feel like I've gone through something. I want to sweat. I want to hit or run or squat or pressure through something. And maybe that's just my mentality of having to work to get somewhere. Maybe that's the problem. So I resisted for a very long time and uh, I couldn't quite find peace with yoga. It didn't feel like a workout to me. I couldn't escape my mind. And then uh, a few years ago, several years ago now, uh, two things happened, both in my work as an actor. Um, I was on a set and there was a makeup artist who was training to be a yogi <laughs> and she taught me how to do a downward dog a real one. And I was like, oh, that feels so different. I can feel it in my body. And then right around that same time, I was going through a crazy life crisis and a woman who I love, Melissa, took me um, to a special retreat. And when we got back, um, she invited me to go to a yoga class. And um, this amazing teacher, Marco, led us through a practice and really talked us through what it felt like to be in each position and to breathe into those positions and to feel what it felt like to breathe into your body. And I thought, oh my goodness, huh, this is probably yoga. I hadn't actually been doing yoga. And it was a it was a real opening for me because as an actor, which is my career, um, I was also struggling because I was told I never breathed. I didn't breathe any further than here. And I think in life, I wasn't breathing any further than here. So in my life and in my work and in my practice, which I think probably started that day, um, I wasn't connecting to anything deeply. And so not only could I not feel breath, and I couldn't enjoy yoga, I wasn't actually able to understand how it could affect your body. And since then, I've really come to love it as one of my most favorite practices of exercise because it's the one time that I feel like I really oxygenate my body. And it's the one thing that really meets me wherever I am. What, whenever I hit the mat on any given day, it meets me exactly where I am and accepts me exactly where I am. And it's such a grace and such a lesson to apply to all avenues of my life that if I just show up and be present, that that's enough and that I'll have an experience that's just true to that moment. And it's also the thing where if I do really be diligent about breathing in and holding every position and pushing myself, I get better. And what a lesson that is too, that just the tiniest increments of pushing yourself get you better little by little. And so when you dedicate your time to it, you do improve. And I think that's a life lesson um, that you can take across all of your paths as well. So uh, now I love yoga and I feel like it's one of the best workouts I get when I need oxygen in my body, when I need air in my heart, when I need it in my soul, when I need breath in my mind, <laughs> and when I need a good workout in my body, I can turn to yoga and get either a really peaceful meditation or I can get a really diligent workout. It's up to me, whatever I choose and whichever kind of practice I choose to do. So I think of yoga as um, a teacher and a life force and part of um, my humanity and my exercise and my craft. And so I'm very grateful for yoga. John shared, I combine yoga with Ichi Kong and both have helped a lot to cope with anxiety as well. Kay said, love it. I practice to find balance in my life. <laughs> Hi guys!
guys, my name is Anna and I thought that I would just do a quick video about the, some of the benefits that you can get from regular yoga practice. So basically, yoga is not about being able to touch your toes, but it's about the things that you learn on the way down. So one of the things that I've learned myself is developing the habit of patience. I used to be the person who wanted things to be done right here, right now, and if I didn't get them my way, I would just get frustrated. Obviously, this approach never helped me. So only by making commitment to show up on the yoga mat every single day, I've learned how to control my mind more and how to train my mind in order to stay in the present moment and enjoy it. Okay, because what tends to happen is that our mind uh, either goes into the past and start, we start thinking about the events that we have no control over and that's a big room for the depression to happen or on the other hand, we start getting worried about the things that might happen in the future and we also have no control over and this is a big trigger for anxiety to come. So on in the life only exists in the present moment. So I highly encourage you to train your mind, especially by doing yoga, because yoga is so beneficial for it, and to make the most of the present moment that we've got right here, right now. So I hope this helps, and I would love to hear uh, about uh, your journey, about uh, your journey on the yoga mat, and how this helped you to become more patient person in general. So yeah, so lots of love, bye for now, and happy yoga practice, bye. Christina shared, well, for me, yoga is a multidimensional experience. It's a time for me to regroup, realign, and if I am in a class, open my mind to its potential. It's the only activity where I can both heal and exercise at the same time. The outcomes are exponential regardless of how you started. Self-expression and movement while purifying the soul. Stephanie texted, I love yoga because it makes my life so much better. Hi, it's Pam San Martino and Jessie the Golden Doodle here. I was asked by my friend Rebecca to give me a little short video, give you a little short video as to why I love yoga. That is a very big question, Rebecca. Okay. So it started 17 years ago, and I used to be, just like everyone else, a huge, you know, aerobics. I taught step aerobics. I taught aerobics. I did a lot of kickboxing. I did a lot of running. And I had a back surgery. Doctor told me, no more, none of that. So I really dove deep into my yoga practice. I started 17 years ago. Uh, I started my yoga practice, thankfully, before everything. I had my back surgery 14 years ago, and yoga really helped heal me. It healed my back. It um, gave me a little sense of a uh, community um, and connection. I love uh, doing yoga at home, but actually I really prefer to do it at a studio. I've made so many friends um, throughout my yoga journeys, and I think that's like my number one reason why I love it so much. But just like so many other people, I uh, find yoga to really calm my mind. Of course, like so many others, we have a lot of anxiety, especially right now with what's going on in the world. And getting on my mat and taking time to breathe and to feel my body move and to quiet my mind, it really allows me to relax a little bit more and enjoy my day a little bit more. And honestly, it really helps me think clearly. <laughs> and um, that's it. I mean, I just really love yoga. I, but you know what? My number one reason why I love yoga is because of community and connection. Isn't that where I met you, Rebecca? Didn't I meet you at yoga as well? All right. Well, I think that's it. Why I love yoga. And gratitude. Gratitude to everything. Namaste, you beautiful yogis. Namaste. Thank you. So why do you practice yoga? If you'd like to share your story with how you came to yoga, then please get in touch with me. You can comment below and share it with the group via a comment. Have a beautiful day, a beautiful, beautiful day, and I hope you learned something and maybe you can share your experience with somebody else about why you were brought to yoga. Namaste.
But again, so it's just shifted several times over the years. Now, honestly, for me as a teacher, it's a lot about the community. Um, I love being surrounded by like-minded people and having people who... <laughs> 